Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive in to my plum paper planner. I am super pumped about this. I have been wanting to create this video for such a long time, since January, since this planner had arrived. This is my first year using plum paper planners. It's kind of hard to say, um, but I have loved it so far. And this is the first year that we are three months in and I have consistently used my planner, which is a surprise to me and to everyone else because that's never happened before. But anyways, I'm going to show you how we plan for the month to keep our life organized, or at least try to keep our life organized. So if that interests you, just keep watching. So the first thing I do during my monthly planning session is our meals. So the one major thing that I love about the plum paper is that I'm able to add our meal section directly into my planner. So everything, even from like my block stuff, I can have its own section. You could have a prayer section, you could have a money section. They have so many, so many options for you. Um, but the meal section is definitely one that I have been loving and taking full advantage of. As you can see, this was our January and then our February meals. So now we are on to March. What color should I use? Let's use green. I love these pens. Um, I'm kind of a pen snob. Yep, anyone else, let me know. Um, but these are the pens that I like to use. They are, I don't know if you can see that. Um, Stedler? Yeah, that's, that's where we're gonna go for that. Okay. I'll leave them linked down below. I'm not great at pronouncing fancy words. But anyways, um, so we're gonna start on our March meal planning. All right, let's go. So whenever I start my meal planning, I always first write out all of the dates, make sure everything is nice and organized. I am really proud of myself because it has officially been one whole year of me meal planning monthly. Yeah, like what? I am so pumped that I've been able to consistently do this for one whole year now. So when I start my meal planning, I always add in our special events that we have that month or anything that is extra. So we always go to my parents on the weekends. So that's what I'm just filling in now. And then we visit my sister and her family on Wednesday nights. So I will throw that in there. And sometimes, normally about once a month, I'll bring something to eat as well. So I'll have that all planned out. And then I will add in birthdays, etc. As I meal plan, the number one tip I could give you is to always create your store list while you meal plan. I used to meal plan and then have to go back and write out all of my ingredients, but now I have learned that while I plan out, just make your store list too, which is why I love my plum paper planner because on one side, they have your monthly layout for your meals and then on the other, they have your store list and it's really big, so you'll have plenty of room. When it comes to the actual meals that I plan, we like to keep things nice and sweet and short and easy. <laughs> I really enjoy cooking, but sometimes it can get overwhelming and so I just like to keep things nice and simple. I have a Instapot cookbook that I really enjoy. I really like Jesse James Decker's Just Feed Me cookbook. I will link all the ones that I use in my, the description down below. But we always have our favorites each month, a homemade Chipotle bowl, um, enchiladas, and we always have pizza night.
If I'm ever stuck on what I want to cook for a day, I will always head over to Pinterest. Make sure you guys are following me over there. I am trying to be more active on pinning and sharing my favorites, but I can always count on Pinterest for a nice, easy recipe. So here's just a quick overview of our meals for the month. I go to my parents on the weekends, so as you can tell, we don't have to cook dinner there. And then I have my Walmart order that I'll do a pickup, and then I have a Sam's order, and then I'll probably stop at Costco too for just a few things. So all of our meals are planned for March now, so we can put that aside. For right now, I still have to order my groceries on the Walmart app, but we'll get to that later. Um, now we are on to our weekly planning. So I have been doing the weekly planning just once a week, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my information in for the entire month. And then on Sundays, I can just add in extra little things here and there. So then I'm completely ready for the month and I don't have to worry about going back in on each Sunday to adding um, all of my items for that week. Okay, so here's just a quick overview of what my weekly layout looks like. So I cho chose the vertical layout and I have important for this week up top. So I can add any notes that I must, must, must get done. And then I have it priorities, blog content, and then this area is completely blank, which I love. So I can use it for whatever I want every single week. It could be different or it can be the same. And then down here, I've been putting our meals. Side, you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Your weekends are always combined together, which I know some people like. Some people would want to have their weekends just like the Thursday and Friday. But then what I really like also so is up top you have your habit tracker so I've been putting up I need to do my cleaning for the week my Peloton workouts make sure I'm posting on Instagram make sure I'm posting on YouTube just different things like that so I have been loving using this layout and let's get started planning so the first thing I do for my weekly layout is I write in my Peloton workout so I ride three to four times a week and then I'll do bar classes one to two times a week. So I'll get those written out each day. It has really helped me stay consistent on my workouts. And then I'll just go along and add in extra things. So I'll add in our meals. I will add in my meetings that I know I have for work every week. And then I will go ahead and add different cleaning things I need to get done every day and just extra appointments and things that need to be completed. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like to plan weekly or monthly or do you just have a daily planner. I really enjoy being able to have an actual paper planner. I know some people like to keep everything digital, which I do keep things still on my phone, but I will never go away from a paper planner. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I really love the spiral spine that this planner has. It makes it super easy to plan and just sit open on my desk all day long. I love being able to mark something off complete and checking each of those boxes every day. Just makes my little planner heart so happy. 
I am in love with the Palm Paper Planner. I would highly recommend giving it a try. You can start it at any month and end it at any month. Mine is just for this one whole year, but I do know people that have had them for a year and a half or even two years. They are so customizable and I will link everything that I purchased from Plum Paper down in the description below. When I said that the Plum Paper Planner has everything, I literally mean everything. They have the option to add in a social media section or for your blogging schedule, which is what I am filling out now for the month. I try really hard to plan out my content for the entire month, and then I know what videos I need to record, what blog posts I need to write, what posts I'm going to be sharing over on Instagram. So thank you so much for all of your support in this space. I really enjoy creating videos for you guys. And so when you like and subscribe and share my channel it means the world to me something that I normally do each year is I set yearly goals for myself and then normally forget about them in March but this year I decided that I was just going to take it slow and do it weekly and do it monthly one of my big goals for March was to reach 3,000 followers over on Instagram, which at the time of this video, I just hit. So make sure you guys hang around for future videos and follow me over on Instagram because I will be doing a giveaway very soon. So here is just a close up of what my layout looks like. I have my cleaning schedule, cleaning, and then I have my blog content that I want to get posted this week, my Peloton rides, what I need to do each day. I try and give myself one task and then my work meetings and our dinners. When I first purchased this planner, I didn't think I would use the habit tracker a lot, but I am in love with it. It is so nice to be able to check those boxes. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I haven't been super consistent in planning like with my paper planners. I would do it for like a first couple of months and then by April, I wouldn't touch my planner for the rest of the year, but I feel like this system is definitely a lot better for me. It's keeping me organized, it's keeping me consistent and accountable with the things that I want to do here in this space on my channel and just in life to keep our house organized. I really do love the spiral side. Uh, it allows me just to keep my day open on my desk so I've been working up here in my office sometimes I'll go down in the dining room but mostly throughout the day I'm up here and I can always take a peek at my planner a couple of other planners I used they were just like a bound spine and so I wasn't able to keep the day open and I think that was the kicker for me I need to be able to have it open visible um, to me at all times going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching my first ever plan with me. I am planning on doing these each month. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos in the comments below and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you real soon. Bye!